What's the nation? What's the nation? What? Can anyone tell me what the nation is? Why are you singing what's the nation? No one. What's the nation? What's Got it. Nation? Latvia. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, white, 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 pink. Lame. <laughs> I've got a drab hotel backdrop compared with you two. You're always in hotels. Are you always You're in holiday? Always- I have to keep saying it. I am a successful a tour comedian and a high man. If you will, just pop the old uh, tour dates there again. Fantastic. Well, I've had a lovely, lovely evening. I'm now going uh, to open my beer. No uh, prizes guessing the name of the beer. No prizes. Chocoholics Beer Club. Graham's Beer. Brat Waffler. Whoops. I've heard a little rumour about this programme. Me too, but uh, can't say anything more than that. Now I'm going to pour my Sprat Waffler into a glass boot. <laughs> Imagine if this is how Ian Hislop started his show. <laughs> well, it's not a big glass boot. Right, well, look, I think it's key to start. I'm now going to, to strike oh. out with my first name. OK, I'm going to be doing it this way around this time. Oh, okay. And I'll, I suppose... Are you, trying to, are you trying to increase your profile? That's good. That's well done. Jack Spratt's wife. What's her name? We don't know. I think we do, don't we? No. Mrs Spratt, then. Mrs Spratt. <laughs> Mrs Spratt. No more people who you could barbecue their surname. Am I out? No, you're still in the game, but you, you will be asked to name another, I suppose. What's that um, crocodile called in Punch and Judy? Has it got a name, the crocodile in Punch and Judy? Is it? Oh, is it the only other Emlyn? There's Emlyn Hughes and then Emlyn the crocodile in Punch and Judy. <laughs> Emlyn. What can you put on it? Michael Fish. You can put that on a barbecue. Okay. Or, um, hang on a minute. I don't know, okay. So you've got to be able to barbecue it and then eat it? Yeah. Oh, oh God, yeah. It's, it's not just putting... Not Alan you know, Carr. Not a file of facts. No, no, no. All right. You're still in. Up your bums. Oh, is it down it? Yeah, down that's the- Well, mine's really hot um, tea. Mine's got loads in it. <sighs> no more, you know, surnames that you can put on a barbecue. Hands off your face, my little friend. Hands off your face, there is no end to how much you like to touch your face. <laughs> Four guys having a laugh. Three guys. Three guys. Oh, three and Dinky Dong. Uh, you'll go again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go again. It's, it's a rollover. Yeah. Rollover. Rollover week. Key to continue. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for Mike TV. <laughs> no more people who, wh- wh- whatever you think of them. They're accompanied by a guardian or a parent. Never seen without a parent. No more always accompanied. Always accompanied by a parent or guardian. Ad- always accompanied by an adult. Yeah, but that could be anyone in a double act. <laughs> 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 I think you're talking about parents or guardians, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you get a, do you continue the rollover or will you or will you do you play or pass? I'd happily do one more, I reckon, and then yeah. I might give someone else a chance. I guess it's keys go after this, isn't it? Could it be key, then key, then key, then it's key again, isn't it? It comes back to key, yeah. Well, Kevin Keegan, no more people um, <laughs> who are o- 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 older than us, oh, oh, oh. but younger than... Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> hand, hand off your face, or This could be the quickest <laughs> game ever. No, no more people who are older than us, but um, younger than or the same age as Kevin Keegan. <laughs> Look, honestly, Kevin Keegan, yeah. no more people who you can get in 90 seconds. In 90 seconds? seconds? What? Are oh, you changing the category? I think so, because I, I think one of the, my favourite things about the game is picking people who are about 60. <laughs> so Kevin Keegan, no more people who you can say exactly where they were on a certain date. <laughs> <laughs> on any date? You can say Kevin Keegan was at this place on this date. 
Yeah, right. So it's firstly without Googling or anything. You just have to yeah. be able to say, I know on this specific yeah. date he was... Yeah. What date and place was Keegan, just for my record? Oh, for your records? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Ke- Keegan, I think, was... Um, uh, well, I don't, well, I don't know, but I think Keegan was... <laughs> October the 7th, I want to say 2000 and... You're trying to work out when the last game at Wembley was before the regeneration... Yeah. Who was in charge when they beat Germany 5-1? Ericsson. Not me. Not me. Right. Your own I think on October the 7th, 2000, Kevin Keegan was at Wembley. You're right, because by 2001... OK, yeah. Well, I so guess Hyman will, Hyman will just flash up correct or incorrect at that point. Yes. It, what, what he's thinking of is the last England game played at Wembley before... Wembley was sort of knocked down and built again, but it'll, if that is the right date, then fair play. I hate having to do all of them, but we are, we are where we are, where we are, I suppose. Yeah, where we are, where we are, The Honey Monster. Do you mean a bee? Fantastic. I don't know who this favours. You'd think <laughs> Key, but in a way, he's had to move on so quickly with his thoughts. Because this is a must-win game for Tim. Yeah, oh, oh this is a must-win for Key. It's 3-3-1. Three, three, I didn't really necessarily want to be in a situation where I'm naming four off the top. Well, let me think. And when you do, do get drop me a line. I'll get in touch. Yeah, give me a call. How do you mime uh, hands free? <laughs> well, Tim, just give me a call on the older. <laughs> I'm going to go for the honey monster. What a bee? Um, no more. <laughs> Sorry. That's the shortest ever impression I've seen followed by an apology. <laughs> Sorry. No more people who you can find within 90 seconds, 10 images of them eating the same food, but from different photo shoots. <laughs> no, five then. Five instances of them eating the same food, but from different photo shoots. I mean, definitely name another. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I've never seen such a clear name another, I don't think. Well, that would be, um, hang on a minute. Um, my name another is Gary Lineker eating Walker's Crisps. Well, we are where we are, where we are, and I've now named four, so I'd be very grateful if one of you two would take up the old baton of hope. And that finishes the longest ever and only ever rollover we've had. Well done to Keith, who names four without getting himself out. And this is a must-win game for Keith, so he didn't need that. And no. I'm going to another sip of my Sprat Waffler. We could get sponsorship by reaching out to one of the companies who make the drinks that we drink in the show. Ah, if you're watching this, Big if. Time and Tide, can you, well, basically pay us. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll pay you. We'll pay you. Well, let's well, well, negotiate, Paul, but we should start, our negotiators should start optimistic that they pay us. All what right. You, what I've had to say, and you've enjoyed I, bits of it. I've No, actually, I've greatly enjoyed your whole sort of palaver. Mm, I wouldn't mind seeing some possession stats at this point. Yeah, you've dominated the game so far. You couldn't have done much more. I thought you were trying to ask me what I owned. I was. Well, I've got two typewriters and they're stacked one on top of the other. Socrates, I think. Is that how you do it? Yeah, yeah, I play it like a, like a pipe organ. <laughs> yes, not the footballer, the old uh, philosopher from... Um... The old days. The old days. The old days. The old days. Yeah, the old days. Well, in the old days, there were not so many things. I'm interested well, in your key. So I'm interested in his key. What? Apartment four. Uh, key to guess? Ah, uh, apartment one. Oh, it's two. It's oh. two. <laughs> in the old days, there weren't so many things. In the old days, well, now there were a lot of kings. Yeah. In the yeah. old days, none of these, nothing rings. And in the old days, one gentleman, he made some wings. Icarus, Icarus, close to the sun and he dies. I think it's Socrates and it's... Waxy, waxy! No more people who, you know, never flushed a toilet. No more people that never flushed a toilet in their life. Never flushed. OK, I've heard what you've had to say. And so I say to you this. I think I'm going to go for Susie Quattro. Oh, OK. A debutante. Also, it might give us a, a, a couple of strains of one of her hits. Well, yeah, we know it's a bit of this. Snooker Loopy. Yeah. I'm just going to go for a simple, no more cues. No more cues. Anywhere in the name. 
In the old days, you already had chess. In the old days, <laughs> you had drafts more or less. In the old days, but there was already crash. In the old days, <laughs> sometimes there was a mess because of wars. In the old days, well, it's Tonya Harding, Madame Madame. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. do a do a nice routine, Watto. <laughs> You're absolutely right. She was more of a sort of power skater, wasn't she? Nancy Kerrigan took care of the style. In the old days, you already had wine. In your old days, days, some things were fine and some were not. Your life expectancy was shot to hell. You weren't feeling well. But in the olden days, you could eat lots of flour. And in the olden days, you had a bath, not a shower. But in the olden days, the church had the power to execute you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we know the person. <laughs> What's the category? No more people who've got got a name anywhere in their names where it's not quite up to up to scratch. You mean it's not That's, Tanya? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no more people where you look at the one of the names and you think you're you're one letter out from what is what you what you're after it. Yeah. <laughs> give, give us the name of the other. Name, name the other. Our uh, name of the other is um, well, it's it's Diogo Jota. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Diogo in this case, Bing. Diogo, right. right. So if you're Portuguese, you're uh, fine. Big if. And that's with surnames as well. Well, yes. I'm not yeah, like, point. loving seeing Smoth or something, you know. <laughs> Silver Plath. She who must be obeyed. The deputy captain of industry, I suppose. But what I've got to do is just think about the category because the key looks a bit too interesting for my liking. You you shall have a challenge from me, kind sir. Mm, I'll do a couple, and a very enjoyable one at that. It's a challenge, and you'd 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 swat it away. Are you eating chocolate, Al? No. Oh yeah. I wouldn't have swat it that way if that was on your mind, because there's no doubt that Plath is a less common... This is exactly the, exactly what you were talking about with that category. We could go for Ted Hughes, I suppose. I just I want to do a poet at this point, I think, and once you've set your heart on something... I've never met a proper poet. Ah. Well. Um, haven't you? <laughs> oh, what a dummy. So sorry. Oh, I've okay. met that one that we did on Winning Answers. In, in, in. in. In, 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 in Macmillan. Yeah, in Macmillan. Ted Hughes. Uh, no more people. 90 seconds. You can find him in Cambridge. If you look hard enough. There, there you go. So you can find evidence that they've been in... Just evidence that they've been in Cambridge. Very easy in the case of... Uh, yeah. uh, not the university, not... So they've just got to have been in, you know, the city. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, get ready to be pretty excited as I introduce you to someone I call Pamela Anderson. Ah. Let I've me... got some ideas, let's put it that way. All right, let me have a little think. Is Horn frozen? Not really, no. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, he's just got a sort of mental broadband. All right, no one who has been depicted mm. in a TV programme in the last two years. Well, this 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 decade, twenty twenty one, twenty two. What 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 on earth are you talking about? Well, there's a program at the moment called Pammy and Bobby, or whatever her husband's called, and so someone has played her. Someone has played them on television. Played them on television now. In the last two years, twenty twenty one, twenty two, three years in a way. I think it's a the sort of category that might catch someone out. Me too. Well, I think I'm going to challenge and have a look now. Actually, mate, what a Yes, Tim, old friend. She might have even done, you know, spoken at the Cambridge Union, you know that thing? Possible. But I'm going to go for, she's been to Cambridge. 90 seconds. It's possible. I just think of her at the beach. She was in Baywatch. 
That might be why you're doing that. Yeah, and that wasn't saying Cambridge. Pamela Anderson was a guest speaker at the Cambridge Union Society last night. The actress and model who has been recently seen on ITV's Dancing on Ice wasn't there to chat about her celebrity lifestyle. She was talking about animal rights and her work with the charity PETA. Well, look, horn bows out. I suppose I'm firmly in the sporting key camp now. I did think of that category and thought, nah, she only goes to America. Very good challenge by Key, but it does show the danger of the uh, Cambridge category that I have rolled into the uh, into the ocean. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say I want some some support here from you, Watto. Make sure that everyone's sort of behind it before you. <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm I'm obviously going to have to canvas a little bit before I say it. I completely understand. I'm going to go for Penelope Pitstop. Ah, hmm. friend of the game, the most played of all figures in the history of number jockeys by far. Well, no more people in the top 10 of those people. Ooh. No more people in the top 10 of the people we've played before. You little bugger. There's a, there's a possible challenge, but I don't think that, I don't think you'd walk. I don't think you'd walk. And you, know, you never know with me. <clears throat> if he's forgotten this category, then I, I'm, I'm better off keeping it close to my... Uh, oh, are you? It could be a forgot degree. It could be a forgot degree. Well, I think it's probably not beyond me to just sort of say Abraham Lincoln, is it? Will I dispute it or will I salute it? Well, didn't, no people didn't die of natural causes, I suppose. Oh! So Lincoln. Spicy deaths. No more spicy deaths, yeah. No more bang, Lincoln, bang, bin? No more bang, bang, billies. Lincoln was bang, banged at the old theatre. Well, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shell Angers. Okay. Uh, olden days. I don't think you remember yeah. what the category is, unfortunately. No, I don't. <laughs> no more olden days. No, we sang, we sang that quite a lot. Well, what are you challenging on? <laughs> yeah, oh, because... right. Well, I don't know. <laughs> In the olden days. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, this is the problem with singing the song. Yeah, oh, yeah. Some, some sort of overshadowed the actual gameplay. Well, we had such a good sing song that I thought that one of the categories was no more from the olden days. <laughs> it was slightly more specific than that. I know which category it is. Well, I, I'll stick with the category. It's no more people who have never flushed a toilet. So I'm going to say Abraham Lincoln never flushed a toilet. Well, it's like, I'll find some dates, shall I? Yeah, I think the flushing toilet was invented c- quite a long time before Lincoln. Invented in the 16th century, but used a lot in the 18th century. I'll just put, did Lincoln flush the toilet? <laughs> what type of toilet facilities were present in the Lincoln White House? Outhouses were the norm. If the tech is there, I'm sure he's, he's using it. Yeah. The I was to say, the Lincolns would have been accorded servants, and it would have been some servant's job to collect and empty the contents of the chamber pots. I'm looking up his um, Wikipedia page. <laughs> Look up his ass. Look for the toilet stem. They didn't become widespread until 1851. Uh, and when was he? He was president in 61, and they were widespread by then. Uh, I'll take another challenge. He found himself in Cambridge. I'm thinking if he came to England, he would have gone there. But I don't know whether he came to England. It's possible. I don't know of him going to England, and I don't see necessarily why he'd have gone to Cambridge. But it's also not, I can't rule it out. It's, good, it's worthwhile challenge. His dad in- came from Norfolk. Did he? I don't like that much. Mm-hmm. There's no evidence that he visited either England or Cambridge. But also there's lots of people said things like that. No, it's not as if it's a weird question. Oh, I only read the bottom line, which says it's a weird question. It's a weird question. <laughs> I've had my teeth done again. <laughs> it keeps growing back in the middle, but they keep... Yeah. <laughs> Get rid well, in that case, I suppose I'd better say Billy Big Bollocks. Um, would you challenge on Billy Big Bollocks? Yeah, I'd have a, I'd have a go, I think, but... Mm. If it's what I think you're thinking of, I think it'd be very fun to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not, it's not quite so easy now. It talks the men out from the boys. It does. Does that mean I'm a little boy? Yeah, it's your little boy horn. I might be soon to join you, Al. I almost did a lure there, but I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think I can play a lure really. 
Well, I'm happy to be lured if that's what you want to do. You've got your full assortment of challenges over there, Mark. I've got an absolute wallet of challenges here if I have to. Well, well I wonder if I can go for Naomi Osaka. You've made her surname sound like an Irish name. Naomi Osaka, but... Only if... You swear to. <laughs> Listen, mate, i let you go just now, but your hands are so on your face. Yeah, actually, it tends to be a bit of a one-way street, that, really. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go for Naomi Osaka. Naomi Osaka. Naomi Osaka. Hmm. I didn't say it like it, she was Irish. He did. Naomi Osaka. Jeremy O'Donnell. No more sporty people. She's brilliant. She's very talented. Oh, Keith's got a question. Oh, Keith, sorry, I'm, I'll get rid of that, yeah. Oh. It doesn't seem that likely she's been to Cambridge, but it, it is worth a challenge when you've got three, I think. It's a heavily visited city. Right, I'm, are we going for that? Yeah, but I'm not hugely confident. Purely vibe-wise, I can see her being more on the side of tennis players who, when they're playing Wimbledon, think, I wouldn't mind having a look at Cambridge. Well, the bad news for you is that she um, went to uh, Downing College. She studied at Downing for four years. Had to be a med student or something. I don't think that's very likely to be true. I thought I was going to get something. I went to the Cambridge University Lawn Tennis Club at the top there, and there's a link to Naomi Osaka, and then there's a picture of somebody playing tennis at the varsity at the university at Cambridge. But this lady is called Aisha Brown, and uh, one of her inspirations is Naomi Osaka yeah yeah I don't think we can you can't convict well I've managed to outwit the fox again outwit the nit sorry I've outwitted the nit is he back is he going to have another nibble though on the Osaka no I, I, I can think of a possible challenge but it really would be risky and I don't think it will work I don't think it will work but just imagine little Pamela waddling around Cambridge while Osaka stays well out of the city perimeter fence well, I think it could be Elvis Presley. But you do an Elvis, don't you, Warner? Are you still doing that? Yeah, yeah. You want me to do it now? Yeah. Well, hello. I'm Elvis Presley. I do the lip thing as well. Oh. I think that's Mick Jagger. OK. Do you think you're going to challenge it? I'll make a challenge, yeah. Right, so this is the end of the game, then. Well, I'll, um, I'll, I'll get the close-up going. <laughs> no more people who, um, you know, you can book a tribute act to them. If you want. Yeah, if you need to. It's a bit similar to the sort of, um, you can find a T-shirt of them on Amazon or a costume of them on Amazon and stuff. We've had quite a lot of fun with that, haven't we, over the, uh, over the years? Uh, hands off your face, please. They've, they've been all over his face, actually. Oh! Well, I'll challenge. Well, this is right. huge. This is enormous. Am I just adju adjusting one little thing in my search again? <laughs> this is maybe the most challenged category we've ever had. What? Cambridge? Yeah. I'm pretty confident Elvis didn't ever visit the UK. <laughs> well, he did once, yeah. Oh, a couple of times, actually. Uh, st brief stop over in Ayrshire and visited both Houses of Parliament and Buckingham Palace in 58. So uh, hang on a minute. I'm wrong. He didn't play a show in the UK, maybe. Yeah, but he has visited. He's visited. In fact, there's things like how many times did he visit the UK? I've done a poo-poo. Well, yeah, that still works. Oh, yeah, we but... did a coin exchange. No, there was a, there's a show at the coin exchange called The King is Back, so presumably he was there before. Oh, you, you'll get stuff about Elvis in Cambridge, no problems. I don't think he went to Cambridge, did he? Wh which Elvis? Are you talking about Elvis Costello? Uh, no, no, not Elvis Costello. Elvis Costello will have played in Cambridge. I saw him at Glastonbury. Nah, this guy didn't go to Cambridge. I'm telling you. That Cambridge category has absolutely taken people for a ride, isn't it? Carnage, basically. Now that's that's um, just as from the student radio. This guy is called Elvis the Puglet. Hello, it's me, Elvis the Puglet, living the good life in Cambridge. You laid a trap and we both fell into it. I pushed him in, and then I tried to push you in. And I fell in. <laughs> that was a must-win game for me. Yeah. Did you win it? Nuh-uh. Mustn't win. Not quite. 
it was a mustn't win game it turned out and so I end up scoring one point for Sorry, the second angle the camera up. angle the camera up a bit I, I'm going to put it out there it was a crazy challenge Otto's all over this Mind you, I didn't know he'd been to even London. I, th- I thought his thing was he hadn't been to the UK at all. So it was risky. He's bust all his challenges out in uh, two moves. Oh, well, Horn, mate. I'll, 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 I'll listen to Watson on the subject. I'm not going to listen to, you know, the, um, the, tw- the, the twat via from Latvia. Well, <laughs> can we have a chat about what was wrong with uh, big, Billy Big Bollocks? Sorry, can we have a chat via? Can we have a chat via about what was wrong with Billy Big Bollocks? Thought maybe he hasn't flushed the toilet. Yeah, I was going to. I was oh. interested in whether he flushed the toilet or not. I thought you could barbecue them. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. With Naomi Osaka, I thought if I could remember when she the date that she'd won a. But could no you not way. Done, last week she was booed off. Like you could, could you not have done yesterday where she was? It was, it was yesterday. She was in the news, wasn't it? Uh, well, yeah. Where was that? Was that Indian Wells? Yeah, Osaka was a big one there, just because she's in the news. It was a good game. Do you want to know who? Uh, he looks like today, though. Hey, lean, back, lean back again, Timmy. It's Tim Kiyostama. Oh, no, 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 no. I've looked much more like him before. It, it, that, it's when that's really slipped yeah, across. It's not far off, Tim Kiyostama. Yeah, you, you've got it in you. That needs to be really slipped across and really almost sort of, I want to say sort of like a crust. <laughs> 